Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. Really interesting question today, we have a great exponential equation x to the power x equal to 8. On the first side this is a very simple equation, we have our variables on the left hand side already, our variables on the left hand side, we have our constant on the right hand side, moreover our constant is not like a huge number, it's not like a thousand, it's not like a hundred, we have only our 8 and we have like a great expression on the left hand side, we have x to the power x. So on the first side it looks like this question is really easy, so someone try to solve it by inspection, try to find this x at the same uh, base and the same power and the result need to be equal to 8. Someone tried to solve it like that, but I want to say that this is not like a real very easy equation. We need to know about two tricks right here, two, two approaches, and I'm going to show this really great approach, but uh, you can easily pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, and then we will check, we'll check our answer, it will be really interesting to do this, and I really like to read your thoughts in the comment section. Okay, so x to the power x equal to 8, let's look at this in another perspective. So 8, this is a constant, so we can easily leave it on the right hand side, so we can we cannot simplify this more or write it in another way, but this x to the power x, it's really great to, to write it in another way, to simply, not like simply simplify or expresses in another way. First of all we have our x in our power. This is like a difficult part because it's not good to have x in a in, uh, in power. So we need to apply natural log on both sides, okay? So let's do this. So we have natural log, yeah my marker doesn't write, so natural log x to the power x equal to natural log 8. So what I did? I just apply natural log on both sides. And student asked me, for what I do that for what? Of course, I do this because this x need to jump right here, because this is the main log property, and let's do this right here. So, um, of course, I can write this rule, so this is our natural log, for example, a to the power b, this is equal to b times natural log natural log a. So this is the main main log property. Okay, okay. So x jump right here, as a result we have x times natural log x, equal to natural log a, 8. And a lot of students say that, okay, right now we have like a more complicated expression, so right here we have a better expression for us, right here we have a more complicated, we have natural log, we have we have a product, we have natural log on the right hand side as well, so a lot of students don't know why I why I take natural log, why I apply natural log on both sides. And then I uh, want to show them the second trick, so it was our first trick, and the second trick is not like a, a trick, I would say this is a great uh, theorem, this is a great function. This function called uh, um, Lambert W function. So a lot of students don't know about this function, want to learn or learn and don't understand or understand and uh, learn this function. So I want you to understand this function and I'm going to explain this function in, in very simple words. Try to you to understand. So first of all, imagine that you have expression like that, a times e to the power a. Just imagine you have something like that, this expression, where a is like wherever you want expression, doesn't matter, a long, a short expression, yeah? And if you apply Lambert W function from this expression, this is equal only to our a. So you need to have like a and a right here as a power of e. So this expression need to be the same, then you apply in Lambert W function and the result is our a. Let's look at our function. So this is our second trick. Let's look at our function. So we have natural log 8 on the right hand side. This is a constant, so we just need to leave it right here because we cannot like express this in another way. But uh, on the left hand side we have x times natural log x. So we, tr we wanna, tr we try to create something like that. First of all, we need to create e. Let's look at it. We have x, we have natural log x. With natural log x it's a little bit harder to do this, but with x this is really great trick, because with this x can be written as e to the power natural log x. Okay, and then times natural log x. This is like from logar logarithm from your school uh, trick. Yeah, and equal to natural log natural log 8. Okay, what I did? I just write this, instead of this x, I write e to the power natural log x. Uh, of, okay, right now we can easily find this e, we have this e right here, we have this e, and if we look closely, this natural log x, for example, we make a substitution, this is our a, in our, in our heads, yeah, only in our heads, yeah, and this is the same natural log x. So we have e to the power a times a, so this is like completely the same as right here and I, I wanted to change an order for you. So we have natural log x times e to the power natural log x 
equal to natural log 8. Okay, I change an order. We can do this because we have because we have multiplication right here. So we can easily change an order with this one, with this one and this one. So right now, let's look closely to this. So right here we have nature log x. As I, to, as I told before, this is our a in our head. And we have the same a as right here. So this is our a as well. Yeah. So we have a times e to the power a equal to nature log a. We don't need this right now. We need this expression. Because right here we can easily apply Lambert W function from this whole expression. And we we need to do this on the on the right hand side on both side if you do something on the left hand side you need to do th absolutely the same thing with uh, this nature log 8 right now let's look closely to this rule so we have a times e to the power a okay and right here we have this expression but instead of a we have nature log x so this is our answer to this left hand side so nature log x equal to Lambert w function to the power, uh, not to the power of nature log, nature log eight. Okay, really great. This is a constant because nature log is a constant, and a Lambert W function in this point, this is a constant. Yeah, and nature log x. This is our variable. From here, we can easily find our x. We don't have any power, so it's it's really great. But for this question, I suggest you to learn this trick. So I just create base base of e on both sides. So we have base of e of nature log x equal to base of e of Lambert W function natural log natural log 8. Okay, I just change nothing. I just create base of e on both sides. I just apply this base of e on both sides and I write right here on the top. So e to the power natural log x. Let's go back. e to the power natural log x. This is the same as x. Yeah. Okay, we can easily change this. We can easily write it as x. x equal to and right here e to the power Lambert W function of natural log natural log 8. Okay, this is a constant, E is a constant, so we can easily find this. But if you uh, solve this question like on your exam, this is your final answer because you don't allow like to calculate it, to find it, uh, exact value of this question, this approximate uh, to this uh, to this x, uh, to this e to the power Lambert W function, nature log 8. You can, you can do not do this like that, but because this is your final answer to this question. But I, I prepare your this answer for you if, if someone like don't learn at school or wanted to see the correct answer. So x approximately equal to 2.3888. I uh, plug in into scientific calculator and I find it for you. This is approximate answer to this question. As you can see on the first side, this is, looks like uh, 8. This is an even number, so we can easily combine these uh, options, maybe 2 square, 2 cube, 2 to the fourth power, 3 square, uh, 3 to the first power. So as you can see, we can combine these uh, powers and this as it looks like the answer is really easy, but we can easily, uh, but the answer is a, a, a really great decimal decimal we have right here 2.388 so not an obvious thing you cannot we cannot solve it by inspection but with with two tricks with Lambert w function and with uh, natural log property and maybe with this this is third trick really great we solve this question i wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure i hope you understand my explanation but if you still have any question write your question down into the comment section i wish you all the best in your adventures thank you for your time and have a great day